My name is Mamadou Jambalde. I'm the UNHCR's Regional Director for the Eastern Horn of Africa and Great Lakes, and I'm currently serving as the Regional Refugee Coordinator for the Sudan situation. I have just spent six days in Sudan. What I saw was really the level of anxiety of people. I also met Sudanese who have been affected by the conflict. Some of them who have lost their livelihood and others who have caught, who have lost their family members. What I saw was also refugees who have been obliged to flee again, so displayed several times. Met people who are absolutely anxious, who have left, who have lost their livelihood, who have lost their family members. Most of the displaced people are finding themselves in families in Sudan as we speak. But the families have opened their doors, they have opened their, their habitations, they have welcomed the refugees, they have welcomed the IDPs. But you know, they were also affected. They have been affected by the economic condition. This requires support from the international community. Over 140,000 South Sudanese refugees left Khartoum, did no go into South Sudan, and they stayed mostly around White Nile, around the coasty areas in 10 refugee camps and settlements on both banks of the White Nile River. Throughout the conflict, we have remained in Port Sudan, we have remained in Wad Madani, we've remained in Kasala, we've remained in Gedaref, we've remained in Kosti. Our support includes health, access to water, access to other basic services, and partnering with other UN organizations and NGOs to prevent, for example, diseases, but also to be able to provide food as much as possible. UNHCR has just released our call for um, 1.8 million people between now and the end of the year. And we have already received 1 million people uh, in the neighboring countries, Chad, Egypt, Ethiopia, Central African Republic, South Sudan. So what is needed is 1 billion US dollars. Um, this amount is for food, which is absolutely essential. Health, uh, water and sanitation, protection services are all essential. And this is part of the urgent calls we are making. Lives are at stake. We need peace and an end of the hostilities so that people can go back to their normal lives. We need to provide support to the refugees. We need to provide support to the internally displaced people. And we also need to provide support to the populations hosting the refugees.